else this is a tutu which is easy no salt tutu i hope you'll enjoy it and i hope to give you a good idea of uh, actually how fluffy it really is and all the colors let me show you hello this is yolanda and today i'm going to demonstrate how to make a super easy no so tutu that anyone can make this is what it would look like quite fluffy. As you can see this is for a child with a size, waist size of 23 inches. It will be tied together. Then the child's body would go here. So you can actually see quite how fluffy it is. So join me and I will show you how to do this. We'll have a lot of fun. Thank you. Hello this is Yolanda and today I'm going to show you how to make a real easy uh, tutu without sewing. I do have a tutorial on how to make a t-shirt tutu, but that does require quite a bit of sewing. For this uh, tutorial, the pink is going to be my base color for my tutu, and uh, then these were all different colors that will be added just as highlights throughout the tutu. In order to make it easier so you don't have to do too much cutting, I just uh, purchased a quarter of a yard for each color that I want to use the netting and that's about it turns out to be about a little bit about nine inches and then the pink I did uh, by two yards so that would be more because I'm going to be using it as not my base uh, my base my primary color for these it is 60 inches wide so a quarter of a yard for each additional color at 60 inches is what you are going to be getting. So the first step we want to do is that we want to cut our quarter inch strips uh, a little bit more narrow. Line them up, fold them up several times. I put this um, omni grid uh, here so you can see how many inches. So it's a little bit over nine inches. So I'm going to cut it uh, probably about four and a half inches. Uh, if you have a good pair of scissors, you could pull it up shorter. If it's not too sharp, then try to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna go just about the four and a half here. And I'm gonna continue doing that all the way across. And this is what we're gonna continue to do on all our strips. See, so this will give us a 30 inch length because we're going to uh, cut it in half and we're going to have 30 inches that we could um, split. So, continue to do that and then I will show you how to prepare each one. Okay, so I'm taking my pink, one of my pink strips, folding it in half. So now, I know where my middle section is. I just scrunch it up. This is the number five area. I put it around here. And then I'm just going to tie it. If you want to, you could put two layers at one time and it kind of speeds up the process. It's up to you, depending on how much, um, how fluffy you want yours. So there you go. You're gonna continue doing that all the way between your two pins. Here's my first one. It's not going to be perfect, so don't worry about that. And then if you want to alternate with different colors, because I like to do like four, three or four pinks, and then I'll put a different color, just to give a little rainbow color. Let me show you how it would look. This is how it looks with only one single layer. I have a strip that's two strips together. Remember, I come to the middle, I scrunch it up to make it easier to tie on. And let me show you the difference, how it looks when you have two of them versus one layer at a time. Some people will make little knots on here. I don't do that because then I like to just scoot over my strips and then I could add or take away as many as I need. So I'm just going to be holding them through there. Put it next to your other strip and then tie it. You don't even have to make a double knot, but see, this is two of them. Let me see if you can see a little bit more. 
it does look a little fluffier than just one at a time. I said that, like I said, it's up to you. We're going to continue this until we fill up our whole space. Once I do like maybe three or four of the, my primary color, I'll add one of the other colors. Remember, you continue to add. If you want it to be fluffier, continue to add more. And instead of having them be separated like this, then you would just scoot them over and make them tight. That is what we're going to do. So let me continue doing a few more strips and then I'll show you how it's progressing. Okay, as you can see, I have finished tying on all my strips. When you do this, you're highlighted, like I said, the base color was pink. When I get the highlighted colors, I can just go back in here and just kind of pull them up so they'll, they'll stick up more. So then it looks like a rainbow one. Your basic ones will be there. At the end where I had marked, remember for the 24 inches waist, I have my safety pin. Here you can scoot up your, um, your tie sections. When you're putting the, when you're tying them on, please uh, do it gently, tug gently. It's really easy to tear the netting and then you can't repair it. You just got to throw it away. See how that was underneath? And then I pull it out my colors so now my rainbow is kind of up on top when I get here this is where the measurement is I will remove the pin and then I'm going to make a knot there or maybe even a knot there so that it keeps my strips from going beyond the waist marked area. You want to leave enough ribbon so that it's easy. This would go around the child's waist and it's pretty fluffy. It's kind of hard to see it in this picture but it is super, super fluffy. So able to tie it close. This is a child would be on a child. Your waist would be there. You tie it close and then you could just tie it with a bow. This way the child can take it on and off easily. You can go to the bathroom. At the bottom, the end of your ribbon, I like to tie a little knot as close to the edge as possible just to keep it from fraying and if it does fray it's not going to mess up the rest of the ribbon. The fraying will stop at the point where your knot is. So here is your tutu and then you just arrange it how you want to. this time, if you would like, you can also add something like a ribbon. Just cut strips. And you can do them all the same color. You could do a rainbow. Just cut a little strip. Scoot over the area there. And then you do it the same way that you did your other many. And then it'll look really cute with different little strips of ribbon as well as your tool. And you're all set for your little girl or a big girl to enjoy her new tutu. Thank you for joining me. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe if you enjoy it and share it with your friends.